In previous videos, we talked about the fully qualified domain name and we identified it here in a URL as this www.example.com and then a, a hidden dot. And we said that that portion of this is the fully qualified domain name. But what about the portions before and after that in a URL? So for example, here, this portion, this is the, right here in the middle is the fully qualified domain name. But what about this HTTP and then this stuff after it? Well, let's talk about those. This, of course, is the protocol, and this is for purposes of the browser. You don't really need to put this in most cases today in a browser because the browser will interpret it uh, for you and use the right protocol uh, in its place. However, browsers are also capable of things like uh, file transfer protocol or FTP. And so if you put an FTP in that place, then the browser knows, oh, this is going to be a file transfer, not a web page. So that's what this is all about. Uh, the double slashes here. Uh, well, you know, when Tim Berners-Lee, the sort of inventor of the web, not of the Internet, but of the web, uh, put these slashes in this protocol when he designed it, um, said later on it really didn't need a double slash and it just seemed like a good idea at the time. So that turned out to be the way that we did it and now we're stuck with it. Now after this portion here we have, or after the, the fully qualified domain name, we now have this admin. We have a slash here which signals the end of the fully qualified domain name. And then in this case, I put an admin here. That's simply a folder on this fully qualified domain name, a folder on this top level computer, the www computer in this case, where my, I might find the page that I want to serve up. And then finally, I have the file name of the page that I want to serve up, in this case, login.html. Uh, this could be index.html or any web page you want. And by the way, it's always there. Even if I just have www.example.com, and that's all I put in my browser, uh, depending on this, uh, actually the way that this server, this www server is set up, uh, if I leave it off, it will supply for me something like startup.html or start.php or index.html, it will supply the primary or starting web page if I don't specify something else. So there's something always there, but it is supplied by this server name over here, the www in this case.